finding a side in right angle triangle. So I'm just going to have a quick look at this. So the first thing you have to do is you have to identify which rule. So you have to identify is it sine, is it cos, um, which is adjacent on hypotenuse, or is it tan, opposite on adjacent. So sine is opposite on hypotenuse, and that order is really important. Opposite is on top, hypotenuse is on the bottom. Cos is adjacent on hypotenuse, and tan is opposite on adjacent. <clears throat> so if we look at the triangle, the opposite side, if you draw an arrow, the x there will be opposite. The one that is right next to the 30, that's the 7, that is the adjacent. This one here is the hypotenuse. So the two sides that we're given here is the opposite and the adjacent. So we're looking at O on A. So we're looking at tan, toa. So once you've done that, the next step that you have to do is you have to set it up. And it's important to write this step, not to, not to skip it. <coughs> so what you're doing is you're writing sine, then whatever the angle is, as opposite of the body is, cos, and whatever the angle is, adjacent on hypotenuse, and tan, whatever the angle is, that's opposite on adjacent. So in this situation where we've just done this question, setting it up means it is tan, so the angle, well the angle is 30, so there's the angle in there, equals the opposite, okay, the opposite side to that particular angle, it would be x, so x goes on top, and adjacent. So what's the adjacent side? Well, it's 7. Once you've done that, the next step is to actually solve the equation. So you've got 10, 30 is x on 7. Now what you want to find is on the right-hand side, that's the x. So just swap it around, so you've got x on 7 equals tan 30. Now, we need to get x by itself. So to remove the 7 there, you times by 7 on both sides, and the 7 will cancel out. So then you get x equals 7 times tan 30, and then you just need to place that in your calculator to find the side length. So we'll just look at these ones here. So firstly, identify. So that's opposite which rule? Adjacent, because that's the one that's next to it, and hypotenuse, that's opposite the right angle. So the two sides we're given is x and 12. So opposite on hypotenuse. So that means it is sine. So remember the rule is so, ka, toa. Sokka toa. Okay, so that means, it means it is sine. So you go sine of the angle, make sure that you set it up, is opposite on hypotenuse. So it is sine, sine of the angle. The angle is 70 degrees. What is the opposite side? Well, the opposite side is your x. So put x on top. And what is the um, hypotenuse? Well, the hypotenuse is um, the h. So that's what's got to go on the bottom for the h. Okay, so that means that that will be opposite on hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is equal to 12. Okay, so to solve that, you've got x on 12 equals sine 70. Now, we have a little rule that if x is on top, then you times. That's a good way to remember it because there's two t's. Top, you times. The mathematical reason behind it is because that's divided by 12. So to remove it, you need to times 12 on both sides. So x will just be 12 times sine 70, and then you figure out what you have there. Okay. And now we're just going to look at this one here. Let's put that down there. Okay, identify. So opposite, there's nothing there. The adjacent is the one next to it. And the hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. Okay, so it's going to be A and H, because that's where we have numbers. A on H, and it's X on H, so X is on top. So let's just set it up. It's good to write that equation. Okay, so that means that it will be cos, because it's ka, sok, ka, toa. 
So cos of the angle, which is 40 degrees, is x over 8. So to get x by itself, we just need to times by times by 8. So x is 8 times cos 40. Just remember, if it's on top, you times.